Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. This is a very very big thanks to someone. Uh, I'm not going to mention name yet, I just, I just want to show you what you've done for me. And you may be noticing in the background that I'm not using my normal scene. Because uh, at the moment, in my tutorial series, I'm going to start using this now. And um, he's actually going to start modeling a character for me and then I'm going to start doing the same thing with that and then use that scene as what I had it before. <coughs> okay. Oops, one second. Okay. Just give me one second. Sorry about this, guys. <coughs> right. As you can see, when we start off now, we have a nice idle animation. But the character just checks his gun while we're doing nothing, we're in standard mode, which is a great thing. At least I got some animations done properly now by him, so I much appreciate what you've done. <coughs> Second of all, because he's doing animations for me, I've been wanting to teach this for some time. I'm not sure if you guys played Crisis 2, you have an upgrade system in there, and it's real time, so <coughs> sorry. <coughs> you can upgrade your gun. You can turn off your scope, you can turn off your laser sight, and whatnot. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you today as well. I'll give you a quick example of what it looks like so far. That's the update mode. As you can see, all the GUI is there. And the scope is over here as well. If I click on this, scope goes off. If I click back on, <coughs> scope comes on. If I ha it's real time as well. So if I say scope off, and I click back into the game mode, it stays like that. And if I say scope on, it'll say that there as well. And fortunately, the other button's not working yet. I didn't finish them, just for, uh, for tutorial purposes. And um, yeah, I'll be teaching you guys this as well. And I've been looking forward to do this as well. So yeah, so thank you very, very much to him for making all these animations. And on top of that, if you see this wall over here, we'll be doing a wall void animation. So if you go close to a wall, He'll put his gun back to his chest, and I'll show you what that looks like. <coughs> Let's put that over there. Let me turn off the main script. Okay. <coughs> That's what it looks like. So, when we go close to the wall, for example, when we're around here somewhere, he'll just put his gun into his chest just to avoid the wall. And then we move back and we'll go back to the normal position. So yeah, and this person is Grim Reaper, and it's a very very talented animator. So thank you very very much for all the animations and wonderful models you've done for me. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much. His channel and <coughs> his channel is in the description box. Please subscribe to his channel and like his videos. It would really really mean a lot to me, and I would appreciate it. And also, if you guys have, you can check out my game. I've been working out with a couple of lads. That'll be at the end of the video. And also, I'd appreciate if you follow one of my friends. His name's Play It Like Ben. He does game playthroughs. And um, I also also be appreciated if you follow him for me. He's also in the description bar. And now let's get on with the tutorial. <coughs> okay, today I'm going to be teaching you the uh, health script for the player. And it's similar to Battlefield 3. For in Battlefield 3, right at the bottom, you have a map down here, and it says 100%, followed by a heartbeat um, signal. And that's what we're going to be doing today. But I won't be teaching the heartbeat signal today, just the percentage, the 100% to whatever. So let's just save the scene. Alright, look for your script folder. right click create new JavaScript call this advanced health okay double click and open more develop right first thing is I want to declare two new variables no well more than that but for now two for max health Give me a type 
<coughs> integer and it's going to be equals to 100 for now just save your script the next one I need is for <coughs> health GUI and it's going to be a type GUI it's all capitals capital S style now this can be applied to GUI as a skin and um, yeah leave that for now leave the update function don't read it the next one is function on capital O lowercase n capital G U I open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close that save this now inside here we're going to be using the GUI label not a button we don't want people to click this so GUI I feel that's a good idea we could do something later on where you could click it and it brings up a and it brings up a um, health bar system that would be actually quite cool I might play around with that see what happens anyways dot label open bracket close bracket <coughs> inside this one put new rect open bracket and behind this closing bracket put comma double speech marks plus sign double speech marks comma and a closing bracket and some echo <coughs> save that now in this last in this last one over here put a percentage sign and leave the how it is and in this plus sign right after that put max health and then put another plus sign sorry there you go that will display our max health and by a percentage sign okay now inside here we want to find where we want the GUI to be placed <coughs> now I'm not gonna do this by writing them like this I'm gonna be doing it by variables and also at the end after this comma put your GUI skin so health GUI <coughs> save that and go to the top now we're going to find some variables and there will be four of them bar rect one and we type float and it's going to be equal to nothing we'll do that ourselves copy this three more times and paste it underneath okay two three and four save it back into unity <coughs> no errors which is great click on your main camera let me just minimize the other scripts let me delete these ones out okay I drag your scripts onto the main place camera if I can find mine Ah, too much scripts there we are drag onto the main camera okay there it is now run the game now at the moment you'll see nothing which is okay unpause the game go back into the inspector mode you see a robot called health GY click and open that up inside that you got a lot of properties you want to mess around with you but not right now you have one that says normal open that one up and this is background you want to apply a texture for your health bar I got mine's done <coughs> health bar and apply that there and leave that the way it is save it now run the game Let me just stop the animation, it really irritates me. But I don't. Okay. So, at the moment you can't see your GUI. That's because we haven't positioned it or scaled it yet. 
because rec 1, 2, 3 and 4 all are 0. So rec 1 I'm going to put 0 for 10 for now and rec 2 10 for now as well. 3 for 10 and 4 for 10. I still can't see it, that's strange. Of course I can't see it. Give me one second guys, sorry. Go back into the script. Because you can't see it because I didn't put nothing in here. <laughs> Alright, what you're going to do is screen dot width divided by rect1 comma copy this three more times paste it here comma here comma here 